It was a night filled with laughter and joy as young Sarah celebrated her 10th birthday, surrounded by her family and friends. The room was adorned with colorful decorations, and the air was alive with excitement. Thank you all for coming. I'm so happy to celebrate with you. Well, let's get some cake before it gets too late, shall we? Yes, yeah, sure, Mom. As laughter echoed and smiles adorned faces, heartfelt birthday wishes soared, enveloping the young birthday girl in a cocoon of love and warmth, a testament to the bonds shared with family and friends alike. Happy birthday to you, Sarah. Sarah's friends eagerly handed her gifts, each one wrapped with care and anticipation. Among them was Mia, Sarah's closest friend, who presented her with a beautifully adorned box. Happy birthday, Sarah. I hope you love it. Thank you, Mia. I wonder what it could be. Sarah unwrapped the gift to reveal a doll unlike any she had ever seen before. Its eyes seemed to glimmer in the light, and an unsettling feeling washed over Sarah as she held it in her hands. Wow, this doll is um different. As the night wore on, strange occurrences began to unfold. Objects moved on their own, and eerie whispers echoed through the house, sending shivers down everyone's spines. Did you see that? The doll just blinked. I heard footsteps in the hallway, but no one was there. Unbeknownst to Sarah and her friends, the doll harbored a dark secret, a witch's soul trapped within its porcelain form, craving vengeance. As the clock struck midnight, Sarah retired to her room, the doll sitting innocently on her bedside table. But as Sarah drifted off to sleep, a malevolent energy filled the room, and the doll's eyes flickered with an otherworldly light. Sarah, Sarah. Well, what? Who said that? Sarah, it's time to play. Sarah's heart raced as she realized the doll was speaking to her. Its eyes glowed faintly in the darkness, casting an eerie light across the room. Come play with me, Sarah, forever and ever. No, leave me alone. You can't escape me, Sarah. I'm your friend now. <laughs> Trembling with fear, Sarah tried to flee from the room, but the doll seemed to move of its own accord, blocking her path. The air grew thick with dread as the room filled with a chilling presence. Please stop. What do you want from me? I want your soul, Sarah. I want, I want soul, to make Sarah. you mine. I want... <laughs> Come play with me, Sarah. Come play Forever with me, Sarah. And ever. No! Leave me alone! You can't escape me, Sarah. I'm your friend now. You can't escape me. Ah! Help me! Somebody, please help! <laughs> Mom! Dad! The doll attacked Sarah. Sarah felt suffocating pressure around her throat her screams stifled by an unseen force. The doll's tiny hands tightened their grip, its porcelain face contorted with malice. Sarah, what's wrong? But it was too late. With one final merciless act, the doll silenced Sarah's cries forever, her lifeless body crumpling to the ground as the doll stood victorious. The house fell silent, the echoes of Sarah's screams haunting its halls. And as dawn broke, a chill settled over the once celebratory home, a reminder of the horrors that lurked within the innocent facade of a child's toy.